And our last speaker for the session is yeah. Angelique Rapti. Okay. 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 Um, talking about virus propagation in multiple profile networks. Sorry. Uh, hello, everyone. Our work is entitled Virus Propagation Multiple Profile Networks. This is a joint work with my professors, Costas Ciclas, Piro Ciudas, and Yanis Timas. So let's take things from the start. Suppose we have a virus or a rumor that is spreading over a network where everyone has a different sensitivity against the, the, the event that is taking place. What will happen? Uh, what proportion of the network will get infected? Or to reverse the question, what are the necessary conditions in order for a specific percentage of the network to get infected? Uh, the approach we used was to simulate the behavior of the vir virus using a dynamical system and epidemiological model. For those not familiar, a dynamical system is a um, system evolving over time where every state is computed based on the previous state. And epidemiological models are models that resemble um, mumps, um, simple viruses or flus, and they have specific states and characteristics. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to find some points, some fixed points, that the system is not going to change state. It's going to be in equilibrium. And when is the system in equilibrium? When the nodes don't change state. They are in some simple state. And that means that we want, to be, we want the system to be stable, that no perturbation can change uh, the state of the network. So um, we use the SIS propagation model that we applied it on a heterogeneous network. That means nodes have different sensitivity against the effect. And we provide all the conditions that are required for the, every fixed point to be stable. Um, the, the SIS that we use is this one. That means everyone can be in two possible states, S and I. S means that someone is not infected but is susceptible to it. And I is infected when someone is infected from the virus and so can infect the others. Uh, and these are the equations that describe the system. Uh, the first one shows the rate of the susceptible ones, and the other one shows the rate for the infected ones. So uh, these are the results that we base our work in discrete time and continuous time. Our model is in continuous time. And so let's take things from the start. The SIS propagation model that we used was applied on a network where there is no fair play. That means we are not all the same against the effect that is taking place, the event that is taking place, the virus. And we assume, for, a, uh, for instance, that we have two profiles, A and B. We could have many, but for the description of the system, we use two. The system parameters that we have is the healing rate, delta, that means the death rate of the virus, and the attack rate, uh, B, um, but, uh, that is the infection rate of the virus. So, in order to have an example for you to understand, what is the attack rate? Assume that we have this network where we have two profiles, the ones with the red hat and the ones with the America flag hat. Um, recently in Greece we had a referendum where people had to vote yes or no. So, this, the virus that is spreading is the referendum. You have to vote yes or no. The ones with the red hats are more prone to vote no, and the others with uh, American flag hats are more prone to vote yes. So it's the same rumor applied in this network, but people have different sensitivity against the virus. So we can see he gets infected, and those two gets infected, and those two as well. So everyone is infected, but as you can see, the two different groups have different infected states. Uh, the red hats have the yellow one, the yellow sick face, and the other ones have the green sick face. That means they are both infected by the, the event that is taking place, but in a different way. So let's go back to the, um, the formal problem statement. What do we actually solve? So we have a network, we have some parameters, the SAS parameters, and so we need to determine the conditions for the system to be in equilibrium. Uh, we construct a dynamical system of differential equations. We try to find the fixed points and to determine the stability conditions for these fixed points. The scenarios that we use are high, low, and mixed. In high, we assume that both profiles have very low sensitivity against the virus that is spreading. In low, both profiles have very a high sensitivity, that means low endurance, and uh, against the virus, and in mix, one profile has high sensitivity, while the other one has low sensitivity. Uh, in click, 
uh, with SIM2 profiles, and these are the, the equations that describe the rate of infected nodes in both profiles. Um, and the, the fixed points that we provided for the click is uh, for the first one, for the first scenario, this is the condition that should be held in order for the virus to die out. Please notice that the uh, only condition is based on the system parameters, N, which is the size of the growth, and the healing rate and death rate of the virus. The next uh, stable point two is when both uh, profiles have a very low sensitivity against the virus, so the virus is spreading and there's a flood. The condition uh, is also based on the system parameters. The third and fourth um, fixed points are symmetrical ones. That means one profile has very low sensitivity against the virus and stay, tends to stay healthy, while the other one has really high sensitivity. And we extended that to arbitrary symbol relation graphs. Um, this is the appropriate equations for um, the arbitrary graphs. Uh, please note that P of I, um, comma B is the probability of node I in profile B to get infected. Um, and A is the adjacency matrix of um, representing the network. Uh, here we'll provide a stable fixed point at zero. That means when the virus dies out in profiles, this is the condition to behold. P is the state vector. It has all the probabilities of all nodes in the network that um, in order for them to get infected and or to the virus to die out. So P is um, this uh, vector, and this is the condition that so behold in order for uh, both profiles to stay healthy. Uh, B is a matrix, a diagonal matrix that has all the infection parameters of um, uh, the nodes. A is the adhesion matrix, and delta is a diagonal matrix with the health rates of all profiles. Um, in the case of two profiles, when we want the network to get flooded, so all nodes to get infected, these are the conditions that should be held. Um, this is a different approach in order to characterize the state. Uh, we impose that all nodes should have a degree uh, within some range, A and B. And uh, in the case we want one profile to have high sensitivity while the other have low sensitivity, these are also the, the, um, the conditions that should be, should be held. And again, D is the degree node of every node in the, in the network. So in the experimental results, uh, we implemented a discrete time simulation and in both clicks and arbitrary graphs. And we um, provided three scenarios in our experiments as well, when the high, low, and mixed that I described earlier. And um, for the click, the scenario one, this is our, the result. As you can see, in the first 200 rounds, uh, the virus dies out as it was expected, uh, since both profiles have very low sensitivity against it. In the second scenario, when we have uh, both profiles have very high sensitivity against the virus, and so the network is flooded, uh, as you can see, profile B, the red one, and profile A, which is covered by profile B, are already covered, they are flooded. Uh, please keep in mind that we equally divided the data set, the nodes. Um, so both of them are flooded, and so the network is an epidemic. It's, uh, all of them are infected. And in the last scenario in the click, one profile is down to zero, and one profile is up to 1,000, um, because uh, one profile has very low sensitivity, so it's, it tends to stay healthy, so it's down to zero, while the other profile tends to get infected uh, because it has a very high sensitivity against the virus, so um, it gets flooded. In the arbitrary uh, scenario, uh, in the first scenario where the virus dies out, this is the um, the experimental results, as you can see, in the first 12 rounds, the virus dies out, and so uh, the system, uh, the system uh, is steady and all nodes stay uh, healthy. Please keep in mind that in all graphs, in all data sets, we consider uh, in the experiments that um, this a fixed point to be stable when for many rounds the state doesn't change. We have the same results on infected nodes or not. Uh, in the second scenario, where the network gets flooded, as you can see, a different visualization of it. Um, I forgot to mention that we use the annual email network, where we can see changing emails between a company, the emails account, email accounts of a company. As you can see in the initial status, we have um, some nodes that get infected. The green ones are the ones that are healthy, and the red ones are the ones that are infected. 
And since both profiles have a very high sensitivity against the virus, they tend to get infected. And so the final status is this one, where everyone is red. The other ones all around that you can see are green are just the emails that were sent outside the company. So they are not taken into account. They are nodes that have no edges to every, uh, any other node in the network. And in the third scenario in the arbitrary graph, these are the um, results. One profile has low sensitivity, while the other one has very high sensitivity. So in profile B, everyone tends to stay healthy, and so um, the results are down to zero. Well, in profile A, they tend to get infected. We also provided uh, with a different data set, the Montgomery County data set, um, a different uh, way of profiling nodes. Here we combined two data sets from the Mont Montgomery County where we had the initial network, how people are um, connected to each other, and a demographic data set where we combined the age attribute, how old is everyone, and the interactions between them. So. Uh, we, uh, this is just for, um, to get an insight of what is going on here, how, uh, which is an alternative way to um, profile nodes. As you can see, we um, split them into age groups. One was uh, the children under age of 10, then 10 to 18, 18 to 30, and 30 to 50. Um, and this is the, the actual the, um, uh, final status of the network. And I'm not sure it's really um, easy to see that there are a lot of children, so since they are very uh, sensitive against the virus that is spreading, most of them tend to get infected. So um, in order to wrap things up, uh, we showed that there are infinite fixed points based on the relationship uh, of the various parameters we use. So depending on the size of the graph and the parameters you choose, there are infinite fixed points that you can have. And they just have to um, hold uh, the conditions so to be stable. And please keep in mind that having two profiles is not the same as having two viruses spreading on the same network. It's totally different because there is a lot of complexity that is underlying using two profiles in the same. Um, in the click, we've given all the conditions that should be held for the virus to die out or spread or have one profile that has uh, uh, high sensitivity and the one, the one that has low sensitivity. And so we connected the footprint of the virus with the parameters of the profiles. In the arbitrary graph, we provided a general condition in order for um, then the virus to die out, so an embryo to stay healthy. But in the case of all other fixed points, we just provided a qualitative uh, characterization of the system. We just show that, okay, there is a fixed point above virus, above, above zero, sorry, but we impose that all nodes should have a specific degree within some range in order for it to exist. Um, and of course, the result is valid for multiple profiles. So our future directions, of course, we could extend this work to other virus propagation models and maybe study the case where we have multiple profiles like this one and multiple virus at once. So, is there the rest? Thank you. Thank you. Good questions. How did you choose the seed nodes to start the process? Uh, uh, that was in the, um, in the um, let me tell you the slide. I'm sorry, I was fast because of time. Um, Okay, the question is how did we, uh, we choose the seed nodes um, in the experiments? Uh, in case of the, the clicks and the sipon graphs, we just chose uh, to um, infect like 10 nodes in each profile. But in the bigger um, graphs that we had, um, they didn't have the click characteristic, that they were arbitrary. Uh, we noticed that in so social graphs, uh, there is um, simple characteristics. There are highly connected subgraphs that tend to get infected and talk to each other, but there are little. Uh, there is a small number of edges between the small um, the sm small subsets. So we chose to infect um, the top five percent of nodes that had maximum degree in order to show the flow and how things evolve. Because uh, another in any other way, you, we couldn't see the spreading. It was difficult to see the spreading.
approach is that it treats a network in a rather more homogeneous way than the network structure actually um, actually is. So for example, choosing top degree nodes is different from choosing high, highly influential nodes. So can you comment on how networks, how sensitive your approach is to different network structures? It is a lot, it's, it's uh, really sensitive to it. I mean, we, um, the question is, um, uh, I don't know how to say it, um, how sensitive is our system based on different uh, topologies, different graphs? Um, it is very sensitive. We made a lot of, ex we run a lot of experiments and we have noticed that uh, if we have a very sparse graphs with a, a small number of edges, it is difficult to see the spreading. It's very difficult. Uh, but if we have uh, highly connected graphs or uh, more connected graphs, we could see um, different results. Um, now we are running experiments on different type of graphs like power law and small world graphs and uh, maybe uh, there we see a total, totally different behavior. So I'm not ready to answer your question completely. But this is it's highly sensitive.